Let's uh, turn our attention to Kenya's market and check in on what we saw from that uh, end today. As you can see, slipping back quite substantially, almost 1% to the red, 4,573 points. Looking at the currency on the day, 87.6 against the greenback. A pretty stable right now, slight dollar strength as it stands. Well, let's, uh, as always, cross over to Nairobi, get an update on some of the factors driving markets. Johnson & Dairy Investment Analyst at Suntra Investment Bank. So we could start there, Johnson, and it seems that the market has lost Lost momentum and we, and we saw a negative trade last week um, so is this uh, fear perhaps creeping in right now where are we seeing profit taking specifically in the market well uh, I mean you, you've seen some pretty impressive rallies in, in, in days in previous days so I think every 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 so often you'll be seeing corrections like this uh, after after spectacular rallies that we've seen just before I wouldn't really call it uh, uh, a, a drop in momentum. I'll probably call it a correction right now because it's a bit hard to tell whether it's a whether it's a top or it's just a break uh, mm -hmm. in 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 the share in the different movement of shares. Uh, but we we still see some uh, upside in some stocks. Some stocks we think we are a bit on the higher side. So uh, I, I think from for what we're seeing right now. Uh, uh, I think the, 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 the slowdown is appropriate at this point just so that the market can pause and take stock. Mm -hmm. Well, let's talk about one of the blue chips that reported their results today. Uh, East African Brewery is coming out of their numbers and the stock fell back almost 3%, 2.7% to the negative. Now, there have been, uh, you know, warnings around the company's cost being uh, at a pressure point and, of course, margins would have come under pressure. But uh, specifically drill into those numbers for us because uh, what stood out as a negative and why did the stock slip back specifically today? Yeah, well, uh, you see, the, the 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 problem is the company was embarking on a, on an expansion strategy, and uh, obviously the 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 interest is interest costs kick in much earlier than revenue generation uh, in the in the in you know in the investment in the markets where they've invested. So I think that's what what else the market. No, I think people should have taken into account that there's that angle because they took I think a Kenya shillings twenty billion loan uh, just to expand where they expand obviously that money is not going to come in uh, immediately so i think that that's what the concern is because if you look at the ebitda of of breweries actually grew uh, but when you go down to the interest line that's where uh, you, you see there's a higher interest rate cost uh, and of course that, that that brought down profitability a bit mm -hmm. so that should have been expected and and uh, but the market i think got ahead of itself uh, expected quite a bit and 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 you know obviously reality checked in when when the announcements were done and that we are seeing a correction right now so what do you do uh, with the stock right now because you talk about the fact that uh, I mean they're still growing revenues and um, they have done well in specific markets and it seems that beer has uh, continued to outperform spirits um, but if you're looking at that stock I mean the likes of Renaissance Capital putting a sell on the stock saying it's 30 percent overvalued as it stands right now I mean do you buy into that well um, I, I think uh, I, I stopped using the word overvalued uh, after you know, some some companies are able to pretty much grow. Uh, you know, c c considering a twenty billion shilling investment, if 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 you if you're a long term uh, investor, you you might find that actually undervalued. So it really depends on the time periods you're working with. Uh, I think that should have come out in their, with their with their, uh, you know uh, recommendation. Uh, but so, stocks like EABL can quickly recover that, especially with growth in new markets and change in strategies and alcohol, you know, it's a market that is a bit unpredictable. Uh, so historical uh, numbers may not give you too much in terms of uh, value direction. So I, I wouldn't quite say they're overvalued. Uh, I'm not necessarily a fan either. I think uh, a bit, it's a bit rich. But I will desist from using the term overvalued because if you have, if you have a longer term perspective, uh, it will probably deliver val more value uh, because uh, that's one company that you, one could argue is under leveraged as well. So if they, if they, if they improve their leverage either by you know, boosting uh, the size of the company or, or by you know, in, you know, and, and refinancing their, their business with, with debt as opposed to equity. Mm -hmm. They can actually squeeze a lot more in terms of uh, value for the shareholder. So uh, it's, it's really a tricky uh, 
you know, position to put yourself in uh, when you're analyzing uh, EABL. So you just keep that at the back of the mind when you're just uh, looking at that stock. And very quickly, Johnson, I mean, the, the, the big issue with EABL is uh, the competition from SAB Miller. We know that 64% of their revenue is still generated in Kenya. K uh, Kenya uh, is the space where SAB Miller is now going head to head with uh, EABL. Um, what are your thoughts on how this is playing out? Is EABL still uh, in the competitive lead? I think they are. I think they are uh, simply because uh, yes, uh, you know that's where you'd be talking about the beer market when you're talking about SAB Miller. Yeah. But a lot of the growth is coming from spirit side, and uh, that ones are a bit more nimble. Uh, they can. They're, they're good. They're, they're, I think they still got capacity in the markets. Uh, uh, you know, they've got new markets where they can. Uh, you know, Jipasu, uh, for example, Ethiopia, South Sudan. So there's quite a bit of uh, slack there that they can exploit. And then of course, um, with spirits, <coughs> sorry, as, 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 as taxes continue, and I suspect taxes will continue moving upwards in the beer markets, and you'll have a lot more consumers switching to spirits, there, there EABL have first, probably first movers advantage, if you want to call it that. So they, they can, they're, they're more established in that market and can, you know, uh, grow fast and it's been a pretty quick fast growing market for them so for me uh, the, 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 the competition in beer uh, in the beer market might erode some of the uh, their, their, their growth there but they are more than making up for it in the spirits market